New at six, Michigan could soon have red flag gun control laws on the books. The potential law would allow the courts to take firearms away from people who are deemed to be a threat to themselves or others. Michael Sandlin took a deep dive into the effectiveness of these red flag laws, speaking to some experts around the country. So, Michael, what do they have to say about whether or not these things work? Jeff, early research does suggest that red flag laws have been effective at reducing violence and suicide in the states that are using them, but that doesn't mean the laws are perfect. Researchers tell me the scope of these laws is limited and the policy itself is dependent on people actually putting it to use. Michigan could soon be the 20th state to implement red flag laws across the country, but will it help? Kelly Drain with the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Violence says early research shows the states using the laws are seeing positive results. These orders have been used to intervene in cases of threatened mass shootings more than 662 times across just six states in the last couple of years. Um, and so I think those are some, some data points that show these policies um, have real promise. Drain says studies in Connecticut and Indiana found that after applying the policy, gun suicide rates in those states dropped by 14 and 7.5 percent, respectively. While it's not a catch-all policy to stop all gun violence, Drain says it gives a voice to people seeing potential warning signs. Then the courts will take a closer look at that person's record before making any kind of decision. Things like whether this person has threatened violence before against themselves or others, whether they have access to a firearm, potentially whether they have misused a firearm in the past, um, and potentially other kinds of indicators. But Jody Madeira, a law professor at the University of Indiana, says she's found in her research not everyone feels comfortable making that call. They might fear that doing so will actually incur criminal liability or even civil liability for the person that they're trying to protect, um, or that they themselves might be harassed by the person whom they're trying to you know, bring to police attention. Madeira says if Michigan is going to implement these laws, its residents will need to remember they aren't trampling on personal freedoms by making a report. They're taking the first step to keep people safe. Just because someone calls with a red flag concern does not mean that Police are going to go in and seize firearms. There's going to be a very careful inquiry that takes place. No one wants to trample upon Second Amendment rights. And often this is the first domino that falls in a chain that can save lives. Madeira says another hurdle for the policy's effectiveness actually comes from law enforcement officers who often have complex feelings about taking away people's weapons and simply don't implement the law, even if it's legal in their state. Additionally, two farms' rights groups have attempted to stop the policy's passage in court, but that was shot down by a Michigan judge this morning. Reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandler, WTOL 11.